Hey, what's up, everybody? Marcos Villegas for Fight Up TV, powered by Stagefront VIP, being joined here in Los Angeles with Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar, we're going to touch on a, a few things, Golden Boy, uh, in, in terms of the company. First thing off the top of my head, uh, Terrence Crawford, is there an update? Uh, how is that going with you guys trying to bring him into the fold with the promotion and, and potentially getting fights for him with uh, Ortiz and Rocha? Well, look, I mean, we've been we've been talking to uh, to Terrence Crawford. Um, what a what a what a great what a great individual. What a smart man, um, and, and what a talent. Obviously, I you know I've always said that Terence Crawford is the best pound for pound fighter on the planet today, the, the, by far. And uh, look, ultimately, ultimately he wants uh, he wants Spence, which uh, for some reasons, certain reasons, I don't know what they are, uh, that fell apart. Um, and uh, you know, we're talking to him maybe about a Rocha fight, uh, possibly a, a Virgil Ortiz fight, um, and uh, and 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 maybe down the road uh, the Spence fight, which everybody wants to see. And I, I'm not sure what order, but uh, but those are the fights that uh, that he wants, um, you know, and uh, those are the fights that 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 he deserves. And so we're talking to him, maybe representing him and promoting him. So uh, you know, the talks are ongoing, and we'll see what happens. When do you think you you could be able to close it, or, or I guess what does he want from like you guys to help him with? Yeah, no, we we uh, to represent him. Yeah. You know, I mean, we know. Look, to put a contract together, and this is what what people don't understand. I mean, it's not just about signing a fight and getting it. You know, okay, you get red corner, this guy the blue corner, and you know the weight. No, it's it's so complex. It's just back and forth, back and forth. There's so many details, especially when you're dealing with fighters like Crawford, who's a big superstar, like Spence, um, you know, big major fights. You, it's, it's, it's very tedious and a lot of detail. So, um, you know, you need representation. That's the bottom line. You need a promoter. Fighters need promoters um, to help you organize everything. You know, to help you negotiate, to help you do this, that, that. So, um, you know, we would be doing that for him. And if he gives us the opportunity, if he uh, gives us the honor of representing him, then, you know, we would have his back a thousand percent. You're talking about the back and forth. Uh, this fight with Ryan and yeah, Javanta yeah, yeah. is one of the most highly anticipated of the last few years. I, what, what's going on? What's the latest with that? Balls in their court again. Um, but we're literally right there. That's it. I mean, I don't expect them to come back with anything else. I think we're right there. It's it's like everything is all settled. Everything is all agreed upon. Um, you know, so I, I strongly feel that uh, that any any second, any minute now, any hour, um, uh, both Ryan and Tank uh, will be announcing. So all things on Ryan's end, your guys' end is is done. We're all good. Our on end, our on our end, everything is great. We're happy. We're 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 content. Um, you know, uh, and it was uh, look dealing with networks as well. When you have two networks, it's 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 difficult. But uh, yeah, got it done. So I would imagine it's going to be Tank announcing it, or is it going to be an announcement where all you guys announce it at the same time? I'm really not sure. Look, because PBC is, and and that's the one thing PBC is taking the lead here, and they're the lead promoter for this one, and. Uh, you know, uh, so uh, we've been discussing how it's going to be announced, but uh, most likely, yeah, the fighters who have all the big major following will uh, will announce. Who knows how it's going to happen, but uh, we'll, uh, we're, we're expecting for the fighters to announce it. Yeah, because like the April 15th date is, is coming up. It's, it's coming pretty soon, and for you guys to do the promotional work and all that, we're kind of running, you know, maybe like a month and a week, month and a half there. So I'm thinking like this announcement has to happen like next week. Yeah, it has to, it has to happen literally uh, in the next couple of days or by Monday or Tuesday so um, we can not wait any longer I mean look uh, we know this fight will sell out quick we know uh, we know that the pay-per-view is going to go through the roof um, you know it's just that uh, everybody's eager everybody's uh, anticipating uh, and and uh, and and rightfully so because this fight deserves uh, the biggest hype uh, machine behind it possible. So, uh, you know, we're, we turned on our, 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 our engines and we're ready to go. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited for this one. The rematch clause, that got worked out then. And what was the issue there with the, the whole rematch clause? Yeah, it's, you know, it's hard to say. It's hard to say what the, the, what the rematch clause was. It's very, again, it's very complex, very detailed, um, you know. So I can't really, you know, uh, 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 tell you exactly what it was but um, everything got worked out 
the all the major, major, major points got worked out. Well, there be I would imagine if it's a good fight, there's going to be a rematch. It's like a, a no brainer, right? Yeah, if it's a great fight, yeah. there has to be a rematch. You know, I mean, we're we're hoping there's three or four, whatever. I mean, these these guys are the the, the, the in their peak. Um, they're at the top of their game. They really hate each other. They really want to knock each other out. I don't know if they hate each other. It's just they 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 have. They want to prove to the world who the best is, you know. So I don't think there's hate. I just think that there's a lot of there's a lot of competition that is ready to just unload inside the ring. So it's it's yeah, it's exciting. I know Mungia has this fight with Rosado uh, coming up, but I, I feel that Mungia, we want to see him with Golovkin or you know some of some of the bigger names. Uh, just you know after the Rosado fight, if he's able to uh, get that win, like how likely is it that we finally get him with those guys? <laughs> Look, I mean. Mungia, Mungia is ready for anybody. He wants to, he wants to fight anybody at 160, 168. He'll even do a catchweight at 170. So if you hear about a possible um, Bivol fight uh, in the works or or talking about it, then you know that's 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 a major major fight that that can take place. Uh, for Mungia, but um, I'm actually having a conversation right now in a bit uh, when Beltran gets here from Tijuana to talk about Mungia and uh, and see what the next step is. But ideally, I would love to see um, I would love to see Mungia fight Bivol uh, later on this year, uh, maybe in uh, June, July, and uh, you know, and 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 get him a major fight. He deserves it. All right, Oscar, it's good seeing you again. Good chatting with you. Appreciate it. Here with Oscar Del Hoya, Marcos Vegas in Los Angeles.